Hi friends, good afternoon. This is Dr. Anshur Dillon, consultant pediatric neurologist at Kailash Group of Hospitals. Uh, today is World Autism Day. It's celebrated every year on 2nd of April. And this year theme is Empowering Autistic Voices, which aims to provide more support and power to the autistic child. Purpose is to make more meaningful life and a successful career. So, ye autism hai kya? What is it, autism? And how, what are the red flag signs? As a parent, as a carer, as a teacher, you would be confused. Ki, hum kis chiz ko bole ki, ye kuch trait hai, red flag sign hai, ya fir, ye bache ka ek normal tantrum ya behavioral issue hai. I know it is very, very difficult to identify and here we are today to give you information about this spectrum of disorder. So, autism is basically not a single uh, problem, there is a spectrum of problems. So, when a child comes to the hospital, it can be some mild symptoms, or some moderate symptoms, or some very severe symptoms. So, ये हम कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करें? So पहले हम बात करते हैं प्रेवलेंस की। अब जो रिसेंट डेटा आ रहा है, उसका प्रेवलेंस अब आज लाइक फॉर टुडे इफ दे आर सेइंग इट्स वन इन सिक्सटी सेवेन। आई वी ऑल आर सरप्राइज कि ऐसा रेशो इट्स लाइक इट इस टू मच। यस अनफॉर्च्यूनेटली बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ आर रिसेंट लाइफस्टाइल with so many other factors involved in uh, predisposition or precipitation of this problem. So, uh, as a parent or as a carer, uh, you would be interested or you would be very eager to know what are the precipitating factors or how uh, this can happen. So, a child is already predisposed to this condition. And when the environmental factors like excessive screen time, or if there is food allergy, hai, or there are so many genetic factors which can lead to the precipitation and manifestations of the symptoms, right? So uh, it has been seen to uh, monozygotic and dizygotic twins, hai, or family history significant, hai, the incidence of having autistic spectrum disorder is more than. Uh, individually found uh, traits so uh, definitely there is a significant family history so now coming to how many prevalence ke baare mein baat kiya ki uh, or reasons kya hai is ko hone ke wo humne baat kiya now ab hum bole ki hum kaise pehchane ki ye bachche ko traits aa rahe hain ya bachche ko symptoms hai hame nahi pata chal raha hai ki kya ho raha hai bachche ke saath क्या साइंस एंड सिंटेंस है? तो कुछ हम रेड प्लेट साइंस के बारे में बात करते हैं, जिसमें सबसे पहले आता है कि बच्चा 16 महीने का हो गया, 17 महीने का हो गया, 17 मास का हो गया, एक बर्ड बोल रहा है उससे ज़्यादा वर्ड्स नहीं बोलता, लाइक देयर इस नो वर्ड्स इन द चाइल्ड डिक्शनरी, इस नॉट एबल टू स child is just involved in himself, you know, that uh, his own bubble where he is comfortable with, he's just involved in playing with himself, he's involved in himself, he's not making any eye contact. And this child is sometimes doing stereotypic behavior, like if koi bhi activity ya koi bhi aap play dekhi, which is me ek hi activity bar bar bacha repeat kar ra hai, jase cars, छह सात कार्स पकड़ के बच्चा बार बार लाइज बना रहा है, बार बार इनको एक ही साइड पे पार करने की कोशिश कर रहा है, और एक ही कोई भी कोई भी आप टॉय लगा लीजिए, जैसे एक एनी व्हाटेवर देर फेवरेट थिंग, दे जस्ट इन्वॉल्व इन देम सेल्फ, यू नो, जस्ट इन्वॉल्व इन सिंगल एक्टिविटी, दे बिल्ड इन प्रिपेट like parents ने notice किया होगा बच्चे को कि माँ बच्चा two walking कर रहा है पैर तो रखता है कभी कभी but mostly जब चलता है तो two walking करता है that is also an important red flag to be identified and early identification if there are symptoms in the child 
So, um, what we have discussed red flag, I would like to emphasize on red flag sign because they are very important. So, our management strategy is that we have to say 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 that early identification and intervention. So, early identification. Uh, to guidelines on Messi, it has been put up like that. Ki 18 months pe bacha vaccination ke liye ja raha hai, the pediatricians are doing screening tests for autism. They are assessing kitna development ho gaya hai, kitna language milestones achieve kar liya hai, and there we can catch the children who are showing the face. So, um, I would like to again enlist the red flags. Um, which are associated with this uh, problem. Number one, agar bacha to walking karna hai. Number two, words nahi bol raha hai. Uh, 18 months pe, ek word aa raha hai ya do words se zada nahi bol raha hai. Number three, koi eye contact nahi hai. Bilkul bacha aankho me aake mila ke baat ki nahi karta hai. Agar, uh, agar bacha koi social gathering mein hai, koi family gathering mein hai, koi birthday party hai, any gathering. They are not enjoying the company of other children. They are just occupied in themselves and just busy in playing with themselves. No interaction, no social communication. That is again a very important, uh, I would say important trait to identify and for the assessment uh, as specified by your doctor. Uh, number four, if your child, parents or carers are saying that उसको कोई जरूरत है किसी चीज की जैसे पानी पीना है कोई टॉय चाहिए सो वो जाके पकड़ के पेरेंट्स को या केयरर को हाथ लेके पकड़ के लेके जाएगा उंगली दिखाएगा और अपनी नीड बताएगा बट बिल्कुल भी इज नॉट एबल टू एक्सप्रेस हिज और हर थॉट्स कि मुझे पानी पीना है या मुझे ग्लास दे दो ये छोटे-छोटे सिंपल कमाल जैसे बेटा ग्लास किचन से ले आओ या पानी ग्लास में रख दो या ये कंबल आप ले लो वो कमांड्स फॉलो नहीं कर रहा है बच्चा सो दैट इज अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रेड फ्लैग साइन अब कमिंग टू बहुत सारे सेंसरी इश्यूज होते हैं जो हमें नहीं समझ आता है कि बच्चा क्या कर रहा है जैसे कि आपने घर में कोई लाउड नॉइस का कुछ आवाज हुआ जैसे प्रेशर कुकर की विसल हुआ या फिर बहुत जोर से वॉशिंग मशीन स्पिन कर रही है या फिर मिक्सी ग्राइंडर की आवाज आपने बच्चे से कानों के पास हाथ लगा दिया। He is very sensitive to light, loud noises. This is also very important to identify. इसको neglect नहीं करना चाहिए। So ये हमारे एक common red flag sign हमने देखे हैं। uh, children who have uh, now got mild or you don't know what is the severity of the symptoms, but these are the commonly found uh, presentation from the parents and carers. So, once you have done it, you have to do something which is not normal. So, what should we do? So, as a parent, as a teacher, or as a carer, now you have to do a pediatrician or a pediatric neurologist or a developing pediatrician. So, we have to do a multidisciplinary approach. When we have to do a feedback, we have to do a from the team of a psychologist, occupation therapist, and speech therapist, along with the doctor. So a multidisciplinary approach is the, uh, you know, that that is the best care which you can provide. So first of all, they will do an assessment. And for assessment, they will identify how many, how severe, if there are symptoms or not. अगर वो है autistic traits या autistic spectrum disorder में अगर बच्चे को if they are able to identify yes this is indicative of autistic spectrum disorder then we will go for the further assessment from occupation therapist कितने sensory issues हैं बच्चा toe walking कर रहा है हाथ लगाना पसंद नहीं है hair cut करने के लिए बोलो वो नहीं कर सकता है बच्चा he is not able to cooperate Nails cut करने हैं वो नहीं कर पाएगा बच्चा हर चीज मुंह में डालता है तो these all are the sensory issues जो हम occupation therapist के साथ लेके करते हैं कभी जो psychologist so it is a very very elaborated very very extensive assessment 
which we do together when uh, we have children who present with these symptoms and we make a final more detailed report about the assessment. Number three, speech. There is a very important role of a speech therapist when they analyze ki, kyunki in bachcho mein, uh, there has been found expressive and uh, the understanding of the language is not very great. So the assessment of speech is very, very important. Ki bachcha kitna samaj raha hai? Bachcha kitna bol pa raha hai? Ya kitna bolne ki koshish kar raha hai? Ya phir bilkul hi nahi bol raha hai? So wo ek pura humara elaborative assessment hai hai. And then once we have identified our domain mein kitna problem hai, uske baad hum bachche ka ek plan bana. So plan is also very important because it is an integrated plan. We try to involve parents with a home management plan. We try to do intensive therapies or depends on how severe the symptoms are. And definitely the role of teachers, carers, whole, you know, that whole surrounding who is involved with the child care is very, very important. So, अब हम बात करते हैं कि हम मैम कौन से स्कूल में डालें हम बच्चे को कैसे मैनेज करें सो दिस इज अ प्लान जब डॉक्टर थेरेपिस्ट फिर आपके साथ बैठ के पूरा प्लान बनाते हैं कि बच्चे को कितने सेशंस चाहिए वीकली कितना बच्चा इस स्कूल में जा सकता है कितने सीवियर सिम्टम्स हैं सिम्टम्स माइल्ड है मॉडरेट है सीवियर है समटाइम्स वी नीड टू कंट्रोल दीज सिम्टम्स विद मेडिसिन आल्सो so it is very important to identify number one uh, these symptoms and actively early uh, intervention is another key for the management. So early identification and early intervention is the only key. So early identification is the only key. We red flag signs discuss अगर हमें लगता है कि उसमें बच्चे में कुछ ऐसे चीजें हैं जो हमें वारी जब मेकिंग यू वारे दें प्लीज सी योर पेडाइट्रेशन एंड दे विल रेफर अकॉर्डिंगली टू अ पेडाइट्रेशन न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट डेवलपमेंट पेडाइट्रेशन एंड द होल टीम सो अब हम बात करते हैं कुछ रिसेंटली डिजिटल मीडिया आफ्टर कोविड और ड्यूरिंग Screen time use when there was incessant use of screen. Screen yani ki phones, tablets, mobiles, laptop, everything. So uh, guidelines kya bolti hai ki kis age pe kitna screen dekhna hai. So uh, abhi agar hum usually dekhte hai to parents are so busy in their life, uh, professional, career, jobs, nuclear families mein hai. The children are not able to go for outdoor activities. Screen time is huge. So please be mindful. The screen time should be, should be very, very nicely monitored. Below two years, screen is not at all recommended except video calling to family or relatives. No screen time except video calling to family and relatives. When we try to feed the child, आपको लगता है कि नहीं phone दिखा के ही बच्चा खाना खाएगा या कुछ मान नहीं रहा है, is trying to be naughty. Then you just give the screen to the child to be a bit mindful. No, that is not a good strategy. You should try to involve the child. You should try to talk to the child. और कुछ आप एक interactive activity plan कर सकते हो बच्चे के साथ. Or you can plan some social group play, play dates with other children. Or you can just simply take the child to the park. Number two, uh, agar bacha more than two years, two to five years, it is recommended not more than one hour of screen time in a day. So I think that is very important to identify what is the routine recommendation of limitation of a screen time to uh, these young children. So it is very important because that is led to the precipitation. This doesn't cause, but the symptoms are precipitated because of more screen time. Number two, what else we can do or to prevent or uh, 
more interaction or the child should be like how to avoid to get into this spectrum disorder so number one is screen 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 it's always on the top at the moment number two i would like to discuss about sleep hygiene i know parents are working till late night they are not able to get back home very early it's fine but the sleep hygiene for children is very very important so they should have at least eight to nine hours so they should be strict house rule like how a child is allowed to sleep at night during summer like holiday period or a school day period and it should be like nicely followed what are other strategies as a parent or as a teacher or other uh, a guardian for the children to make them feel better and to make them uh, how you can help them uh, in other simpler sense so it's a positive reinforcement you have to be very very patient with the children you cannot lose your temper you cannot shout on them positive reinforcement is and you have to have lot of patience is very very important number two um, do not punish children it's it's fine uh, they cannot express their emotions they uh, cannot express their thought and they're always there is lot of behavior problems because the understanding of uh, general environment it's, it's not very very great so there is a behavior problem with these children so the parents and care the teachers have to be very very patient it's it's very important number 2 you have to listen uh, them you cannot just say okay just play off your own and then this you have to be involved active involvement jo bhi aap ghar ka kaam kar rahe hain maybe if you are doing anything just try to involve child like uh, you can make simple activities at home like uh just in summers they can be some soap or bubbly water they can play with the water under supervision definitely and um like any puzzle activities doing very small small activities structured things that would be very helpful in understanding and making their um integration okay so uh these are the very very simple uh things which we can do at home and definitely as a team with therapists and doctors we try to make a plan for the child and that is an integrated plan uh, it, it involves everyone like parents uh, your uh, carers like grandparents or uh, relatives school teachers and then we work in a holistic manner and it depends you know uh, sometimes it takes time but if we show our consistency with the all these strategies which we have discussed then child children will definitely show improvement but they are very special children they need time they need to have lot of patience with them so again i would like to reemphasize on number 1 to how to identify red flag signs number 2 if you find any of the red flag signs please consult your pediatrician this is not a social taboo this is not a something which will make you feel bad to identify and to um make plan and to seek medical help is very very important so these children can have a normal life as if we try to help them as soon as possible and sometimes it takes time but they 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 would try to attain and our aim is to make them very independent sustainable and they once they grow up uh, they ha- can have financial stability along with emotional stability and they can do everything of their own so government of india has identified now as autistic spectrum disorder in the disability uh, list so you can uh, get an assessment done and that can that this spectrum of problem can be like can be put as a disability and there can be lot of support from the school from the boards from the education system and there lot of skill development centers nowadays 
they can try to identify the child um, is good in some special thing like maybe painting, maybe music or something else. Uh, and we try to focus on the area where the child is very, very much uh, excellent. And that can be uh, this child for the career. So I hope uh, we have, it, it, it's a big topic, I know, but I did try to cover most of the part as uh, my listeners are mostly parents, guardians, and teachers. And we would like to support these children as much as possible because they are all normal children and they should not be considered something like uh, anything uh, different from us. They all are like us, but they need support. And this is what we try to pass on the message. And thank you so much for giving this opportunity to me. And I would like to take over if there are any questions, please. Come see. Please bear with me and just see if there are some questions. Right, it's a very, very good question. Uh, Sneha Chauhan has asked, can an autistic person have a normal life? This is what we are trying to achieve. Yes, they can have a normal life. If we all as a team try to understand what are the deficits, what are the domains, uh, where the child needs support and if we try to support that uh, domains, they can have a normal life and this is all what we target for. This is all which we target for, I would like to emphasize, and they can have a normal life, definitely. Thank you. Uh, next question is, do autistic children commonly suffer from other illness? Yes, uh, this is a spectrum of disorders when they can have uh, some neurological problems like seizures. Uh, they can have some, so uh, when uh, children present with symptoms of autistic spectrum disorder, we try to do an assessment for vision. There is no issue to me, hearing also to get with that. There are, um, mostly it is, central nervous system related issues uh, apart from that we do thyroid test and like the routine test uh, because sometimes the presentation overlap so that is an assessment which we usually do in the first or second visit uh, and we try to address so definitely there are uh, brainy problems which hoti hain jab silent seizures hote hain jaise bachche ko Actively they may die to seizures, but silently over there. So, if you have a language attained, or regression, so we try to uh, find out if there is a significant history and we do the test accordingly. Okay, thank you. How do doctors diagnose children with autism? Another very good question. I know you are actively involved in uh, our interaction. I'm so happy that there are so many good questions coming up. So, uh, how do doctors diagnose? So, it is a very extensive assessment. Uh, we have a very, very uh, nicely trained assessment. It entails scoring on initial screening. And examination by asking history, birth history, development, family history, there are so many domains when you ask. Examine karte uske baad, then if we find that the child is having symptoms, then we have an extensive assessment with the help of psychologists, occupation therapists, and speech therapists. And then we do that assessment and then we can diagnose ki kya spectrum hai and symptoms with the symptoms. Okay, thank you. Okay, so next question is what is the root cause of autism? So still researches are ongoing. Um, still we, uh, we are not very sure what is the very, very like commonly associated, but there are so many factors. Like number one, which we already spoke uh, during this talk initially, uh, genetic is a very, very common 
possibility. It's not very important that mummy, parents, paternal side or maternal side may not be there, so why did our children happen? Sometimes there can be three-logo mutations. So, uh, another reason can be antenatal, meaning that pregnancy ke time, mother has some complications, hoti, maybe any fever or any fever with rash or any other like complications during pregnancy, the children are a bit more predisposed. Number three, push food allergies or any toxins or any environmental, you know, that pollution, we, we don't know. Still, it is undergoing. So, genetics is definitely an important thing. And I would say this environmental exposure, like less outdoor activities, more screen time, less sensitization to the outside world, very, very, like, you know, that's very, very strict. Uh, routines at home, they can predispose. So it's very important to uh, to read with the child, just to talk with the child as young as they are, like four or five months. A very, very nice routine where you are talking with the child, showing the pictorial books, texture of uh, like what is this cotton or this is rubber or this is wood, metal. So that is very important. So these are all, you know, that stimulants are lacking with the child's uh, rearing or the child's growth. Thank you. I hope I was clear with that. So uh, can it be detected during pregnancy? So uh, I think uh, so far, um, if there are any genetic reasons, definitely if we have found how many genetic tests here, but you know, and but you tests they took significant results. And uske baad, jab, uh, when the parents are planning for the next pregnancy, we can get uh, the test done if any of the parents we have got the same mutation. Uh, uh, let me be more clear about that. Ki bache ka jo affected child hai, uska genetic test kiya, uske andar kuch positive lead aaya, phir unhe parents ne wo identify kiya. And if parents, we have got that mutation, so we can plan for antenatal uh, genetic testing. Otherwise, we cannot test uh, while mother is pregnant. What is the age group for the symptoms to develop? Okay. Age group, I would say uh, we can diagnose it as early like 18 months because child starts speaking and you know that socialization when they have good eye contact, when they try to express their thoughts and express their needs. So that time we can early identify and we can put up if there are any red flags. So what is the test uh, for autism during pregnancy and when should we get wallet? So uh, I think uh, that's another very good question. So um, the test for autism during pregnancy is only one test we can do at the moment. Or do we have just done it? Other pehla bacha affected it. Definitely we will. We have guidelines now that parents before planning second pregnancy genetic testing should be done, okay? So, uh, second pregnancy, se pehle genetic test, bachche ka hona chahiye, jo affected hai, aur uske baad pe aapke doctors decide karte hai, ki aapka is pregnancy me test, genetic test hoga, ki nahi hoga. That is very, very important. Please note that. Thank you. How will I know if my kid is autistic? So, um, as we discussed earlier during this um, discussion that uh, there are few red flag signs um, when the child is through walking or uh, there are some, like the child is not doing any eye contact, bar bar kuch repetitive behaviors hai, apne aap mein hi laga rata hai, kisi ke saath khelta nahi hai, a social play nahi karta hai, बार बार एक ही चीज रिपीट करते हैं घर में कोई जोर से शो की आवाज होती है कान बंद कर लेते हैं हेयर कट कराने में प्रॉब्लम है नेल्स नहीं कट करने देते हैं मुंह में सारा टाइम 
Krishna put the Alki reference. So these are all the red flag signs for autism. So what symptom I should watch out for? So again, uh, I would re-emphasize on the red flag signs. But just speech. If one word is saying 16 months, 17 months, it is a very important uh, sign to see her. Okay. So what type of therapy can be given? So this is again a multidisciplinary okay, team approach. So therapies depend on the domains where the child is uh, lagging or needs support. So occupational therapy is suspended when you have sensory symptoms. Uh, speech therapy evaluation hota hai, and if needed, we have uh, ABA therapy also and a special education therapy. Okay. So, uh, I think we have finished with our questions. I hope you had some information and I hope I was not uh, like using my medical terms very often. I was I wanted to be very clear. If there are any questions, please do ask me. And thank you very much. Hope uh, this problem will not be a social taboo. And uh, with these red flag signs, uh, parents would be happy to see a doctor and early identification and early intervention is the key. And we want all of the children uh, which are identified to lead a normal life with a good career opportunities. Thank you so much. Thanks. Take care.